Once again this summer, you can bring a chair and sit back and enjoy music at the Sunset Folk Music Series at the Western Prom Park. Leslie McBain got the lineup from Ted Musgrave, the city's special events coordinator. Well, Ted, Portland is having some exciting music this summer, and it's free. Yes. <laughs> All over the city. Um, let's talk about the West End. What's happening up there this summer? Yes, as part of the Summer in the Park series that mm -hmm. Portland Recreation puts on, we have three series, the Sunset Folk series on the Western Prom, and we've got kid shows at Deering Oaks, and we've got the uh, Friends of Eastern Prom concerts on the Eastern Promenade. Uh, yeah, it's, so it's full. It's like, where do you uh, go? I mean, there's so, the, so much. <laughs> no, but you can start, like you said, with the Sunset Folk series. Okay. Uh, every Wednesday night, during the summer on the Western Prom over near the Thomas Brackett Reed statue of the Western Prom. I know it well. Yeah. We have concerts at uh, the sunset mm -hmm. hour. And so the time varies for the start there because the sunset varies as we get on into yeah. the summer. But we feature uh, contemporary acoustic artists there. And I think this is our 22nd year or something of that it's sort of a series. It's been a number of years. Yes, it has. I always get a little confused about sunset. I mean, what technically is the time I should start getting it's up there? It's supposed to be 20 minutes before sunset, 20 minutes after sunset. So it's a, not a very long concert at all. Mm -hmm. It's only 40 minutes, so you've got to get there right on time or else you miss it. So it's best to go a little bit early and maybe bring a picnic? Yes, picnic and your blankets and your chair and relax and enjoy the Well, tell us some of the guests, the who, some of the musical guests who will be there. The first Wednesday is July 11th, I think, yep. Coming right up. Right. Yeah, and that features uh, the trio Truth About Daisies. Oh. So there's wonderful harmonies there. They've got uh, mandolin, guitar, and bass, mm -hmm. and three-part harmonies. Again, wonderful folky songs. Uh, and, uh, the 99% uh, of the uh, material that's featured at the Sunset Folk Series is original. So these are original artists who are coming in performing their own music. And it's really nice because the, uh, the audience is there to hear the artist. So there isn't a lot of talking going on and things of that sort, which is different at some other shows. Everybody's gabbing right, and talking away. Right. But these shows, folks are primarily there to listen to the artists and enjoy their, their picnic. Also chairs or a blanket, um, what, if, what are your suggestions there? Those are welcome. If you're setting up chairs, we ask that you set, set up in the back of mm -hmm. the, uh, the park area. And that it, as you drive by and see the Thomas Brackenreed statue, it looks like it's a small park, but we've had uh, 400 people gathered on the, the prom there listening to artists before. Wow. And so, are there speakers so that... Oh, yeah, there's a PA system. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we set up a PA system. That's for terrific. Um, but the second artist mm -hmm. that I wanted to mention was Darian Brahms. Oh, yeah, that's a name she, we all know. Yeah, right. July 18th. Oh, fantastic. Um, so she's there at uh, 745 on Wednesday, weather permitting, of course. Mm -hmm. And Darian just released a new album. So, so uh, that that's, she'll, yeah, she'll be a big draw. Yeah. Now, the other thing that you're doing are the children's concerts at Deering Oaks. Yes, we've done those for a number of years and uh, we had to uh, we had to cancel the series a couple of years ago because of the budget cuts and mm -hmm. things of that sort. But uh, thankfully the Red Claws and Quirk Chevrolet stepped forward and we were able to uh, bring back the concert series last year and they've oh, again wonderful. agreed to sponsor the series this year. So yes, on Thursdays at 1230, mm -hmm. lunchtime hour, mm -hmm. Um, down in front of the bandstand at Deering Oaks Park, we have kid performers there, all the way, all ranging from magicians to songstresses to this year something new. The USM Chemistry Club is coming out to blow up the park, as I understand. Oh, what fun! When's that? Uh, I don't know. I gotta check. <laughs> I want to go to that. <laughs> I know. Watch the park get blown up. Right. Uh, July 26. Okay. But if now, if it rains on mm -hmm. those kid shows, uh, it's moved indoors to the Reiki School. Oh, wonderful. So, yeah, so we still hold the concert if it's okay. raining out or drizzling out. For now, the, um, the, the concerts on the Eastern Prom are continuing, um, adding more genres. Yes, the, the Friends of Eastern Prom, again, this year, they, the first year was last year that they had a big part in the concert series. This year they're coming back, 
and they've added more concerts so that we have eight Great. Thursday nights Terrific. over at the Fort Allen Park Bandstand with a yeah. variety of musical genres. All those concerts start at 7 p.m. Okay, weather now, permitting. more information quickly, I guess. Uh, city website is city the website. easiest, so portlandmaine.gov. All right, well, I'll be there. Great, Leslie, <laughs> look forward to seeing you. Thank you. And share your picnic with me, will you? Okay. Thank you. <laughs>